Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel medic <laughs> medicated, dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and over. So today what I want to talk to you guys is about uh, cannabis and yoga. Um, I don't claim to be a yogini. <laughs> I'm by no means a um, professionally trained yoga instructor. Um, I did do a couple of videos, yoga videos, on my Dark Moon Doll channel, just showing what it is that I do. And it's not like really personal instruction really, um, because if you want you can take a yoga class and learn from uh, a yogini instructor. Some people don't have that option or have the funds to do so. So what they'll do, like I have done, is they'll get um, magazines, yoga magazines, or even uh, what I have is a few yoga DVDs um, where I learned some basic moves and some basic yogic practices. Um, the kind of yoga that I do is not like um, vinyasa yoga, although I have done vinyasa yoga, and that's a type of yoga where it's it's just a constant flow of movements, like you're constantly moving from downward dog to, you know, just constant movements. Lately, I've just been doing more of a sustained uh, movements, uh, holding like warrior one, sal sun salutations, um, brave warrior, and so on and so forth. <laughs> So, um, today I'm smoking on this uh, Lavender Kush, and I believe I did do a review on that. But I think that uh, cannabis and yoga can go hand in hand for me. Um, cannabis can help motivate me to continue with my practice, because <laughs> uh, there's times where I really just don't want to do any yoga. But I know that after I do it, my body will function a lot better. Um, as I've said in the beginning of this show and every other show that I do on this channel, that I have arthritis in both my knees and ankles. And um, so that really helps being able to stretch out my legs, being able to stretch out my whole body. Because I don't think that my legs are separate from the rest of my body. It's a whole uh, connection. Every body part is connected to the other. So if one or two or three parts of your body are not working, then the rest of your body is going to be out of whack as well. Imbalances have occurred. Cheers. And to learn more about yoga, I, um, I subscribe, subscribe to a magazine called Yoga Journal. And uh, I don't anymore, but I've got tons of their magazines. And they have little um, workouts that you can do. And it's a lot of them can be modified. So if you're, um, if you're disabled or you have some specific medical conditions, this magazine, or just in general if you look online, there's so many modifications to some of the yogic poses to where just about anybody can do yoga. I like to do yoga outdoors, um, and uh, like I take my cannabis with me. Um, I smoke enough cannabis to the point where I feel really centered and focused, and then I do my practice. And after my practice, I'll like sit down and meditate with cannabis and uh, just relax and just be in nature and really feel my body and really connect my body with my body. I feel like yoga and cannabis and meditation, all those three components together help me to stay as grounded as I can throughout the day. I think the natural state of the body was to be that flexible to do these yogic poses. Some people look at these crazy poses like people um, <laughs> like in a pretzel type of pose and back bends, headstands. These are like natural ways our body is supposed to move. I'm not saying my body can do that right now. <laughs> 
but that's how we were supposed to move but we get into a habit of being in jobs where we're sitting in one spot all the time um, moving the same way every day and setting us up for so many uh, painful injuries and debilitating conditions that affects our daily lives so if you can incorporate some sort of yoga into your life something simple then that would help you um, to prevent you from having any of these debilitating uh, conditions seriously I think a lot of the conditions major health conditions with the body does a lot have does have a lot to do with circulation and stretching and moving that that energy that's in your body around not just kind of cricked up in the same position over a keyboard for hours on end inside of an office with no window. <laughs> I'm smoking out of the bamboo pipe now. <laughs> I was smoking out of my bong, but anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, you get what I'm what I'm getting at is that um, get your body moving in some sort of way, even if you can't like go for a jog or go for a long walk, um, stretch, do some stretches. Um, I might even do. Um, a show or two about the type of yogic poses that I do based on you know the limitations I have with my uh, knees and ankles um, and I feel like what I've been doing has been making the situation better like I'm finding that my ankles and my knees are feeling a bit stronger um, but you go at your own pace and that's what yoga is it's not like competitive you go at your own pace and with the cannabis, I find that it helps my, my muscles to feel more limber and loose and more aware of my body and how it feels and not to push it. You know, just go only as far as you can go. So I think I decided to, cha to name this it's because it's going to end up being a series of videos, I think, about uh, fitness. Just going to be cannabis and fitness. Um, that's one of the great things that I like to do to stay healthy as possible is yoga. There's other things that I do, too, and I can share those in, fu in future videos. So, yeah, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares, and thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below and let me know what it is that you do when you smoke cannabis to stay fit and healthy. Alrighty guys, I'll see you soon. Peace.